selling price is equal to market price plus x percent of market price so rebate is rebate divided by the quoted price into 100 sales tax is equal to selling price minus market price everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is your shruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysore we are at the revision session of chapter wise question and answer in today's session we will be taking the problems related to sales tax and value added tax and here we have a three mark question which they may ask you for your examination let us see the distribution of marks from this chapter so according to the blueprint of your basic months paper, you will be having one three mark question that is total marks from this chapter is three question from the chapter sales tax and value added tax. So let's see the question they have asked you in your previous year question papers and what are the types of question they may ask you from this chapter. So here is a question. A shopkeeper bought a TV at a discount of 30% of the listed price of rupees 24,000. The shopkeeper offers a discount of 10% of the lease price to the customer. If the VAT is 10%, find the amount paid by the customer, the VAT to be paid by the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper himself bought a TV at 30% discount of the listed price of 24,000. So let us find the price on how much rupees he has bought a TV. Then he has sold it for 10% discount of the listed price. Then along with that he has a VAT of 10% also. Now we have to find the amount paid by the customer as well as the VAT paid by the shopkeeper. Now first let us find out for how much amount he has bought a TV. That is 30% discount means he has took it for 70% of 24,000. So let's see here now selling price of the shopkeeper. So that is 70% of 24,000. So that is equal to 16,800. Now, selling price of customer is equal to, since we have 10% discount, it is 90% of 24,000. 90% of 24,000. That is equal to 21,600. Now, here, first let us calculate the amount paid by the customer. So, therefore, total amount paid by Customer that is equal to 21,600 plus 10% 10 of 21,600 because we have 10% VAT for the selling price here. So, therefore, it is 21,600 plus 2,160. So, that is equal to 23,760 in terms of rupees. So, this is the amount paid by the customer that is the selling price as well as the VAT 10% on the selling price. So, next we will calculate the VAT to be paid by the shopkeeper. So, VAT paid by the shopkeeper is equal to VAT is equal to 10% of the selling price by the customer that is 21,600 minus selling price that he got from the other person that is 16,800. So, we will get it as 10 divided by 100 into 4800. So, cancel. You will get it as rupees 480. So, the shopkeeper bought at 70% of 24,000. That is, he has got 30% discount means he has paid 70% of 24,000. That is the TV he got as a selling price. Next, he will sell it for the customer at 10% discount. 
10% discount means the amount he will pay is 90% of 24,000. Here they have given he offers a discount of 10% to the listed price. The listed price was 24,000 only. So that is 90% of 24,000 is 21,600. Next we need to find amount paid by the customer. So this is what the amount paid by the customer and it includes VAT 10%. On the selling price for the customer. So, therefore, 10% of 21,600 is 2,160. Adding that, we will get the amount paid by the customer is 23,760. So, therefore, here VAT paid by the shopkeeper will be 10% of the amount he has taken the TV and how amount he has given to the customer. So, difference is 4,800 into 10% is. 480 rupees. Next one. A furniture dealer sold furniture for rupees 21,500 and added 5% sales tax to the quoted price. The customer agrees to buy it for rupees 21,000 including sales tax. Find the discount he received. Now here if the customer agrees to pay for rupees 21,000 means Selling price of the furniture itself is 21,100. So, therefore, it is selling price is equal to market price plus X percent of market price. Now, we does not know the what is the value of or what is the exact cost price or the market price of the furniture. Let us find it. Here, selling price is 21,000. Market price, let me take it as X and here it is X percent is nothing but it is a 5 percent. So, 5 percent means 5 divided by 100 into market price. So, we will get is 5 zeros. Huh? So, we will get it as X by X by 20 or it is equal to 21 X by 20. Now, X we want. So, X is equal to 21,000 into 20 divided by 21. So, we will get it as, so 20,000. This is the market price of the furniture. So, this is exactly the market price and therefore, the tax will be tax paid. Extra amount paid by the customer is 21,000 minus 20,000. That is equal to 1,000. So, this is the tax paid by the customer. Now, we need to calculate the discount in terms of percentage. Let percentage of discount is equal to Y percent. So, Y percent we can express it as it is 20,000 divided by 100 into Y is equal to 1000. So, this is what the tax paid by the customer that is nothing but Y percent of the market price. So, Y percent of the market price means Y divided by 100 into 20,000 because the market price is 20,000. So, here Y is equal to 1000 into 100 divided by 20,000. Cancel it. 0, 0, 0, 0 get cancelled. 0, 0, 0, 0 get cancelled. So, therefore Y is equal to 10%. So, whatever the discount he has given is, it is Y percent on the market price. Y percent can be expressed as Y divided by 100, market price is 20,000. So, Y percent of the market price is the tax paid by the customer. Hence, if we express this in the form of a percentage, it is 10 percent. So, after cancelling, we get it as Y is equal to 5 percent, 2 ones are 2 5. Are. So, therefore, the discount or the rate of discount will be equal to the 5 percent. Here the percentage discount is y percent. So, discount is nothing but y percent on the market price. y percent means y by 100 into market price is 20,000 that is equal to the tax paid by the customer. Hence, the t is equal to discount itself is equal to the tax paid by the customer. So, hence the rate of discount is 5 percent. Next question. Bharat bought a shirt for rupees 336 including 12% sales tax and a necktie rupees 110 including 10% sales tax. 
find the printed price of the shirt and necktie together we need to find out the printed price or market price paid by the bharat together so let us take let x be the printed price for shirt and he has taken it for rupees 336 we know the formula that is selling price is equal to market price plus percentage x percent on market price so here selling price is rupees 336 let me take x as a market price or printed price so that is x plus 12% sales tax means it is 12 by 100 x so that is equal to on solving we get 112 by 100 into x so therefore x is equal to 336 into 100 divided by 112 cancelling it we will get it as 300 so therefore we get x is equal to 300 now let me take let y be the printed price printed price for necktie and necktie he bought at 110 at 10% sales tax so therefore this is equal to y plus 10% of y which is equal to 110 by divided by 100 so we get y is equal to 110 into 100 divided by 110 so that is equal to 100 so therefore the printed price is equal to we have to find it together for shirt it is 300 and for necktie it is 100 so therefore it is rupees 400 so this is the total printed price of necktie as well as shirt next question The price of washing machine, inclusive of sales tax, is rupees thirteen thousand five hundred and thirty. If the sales tax is ten percent, find the basic price. Again, basic price is nothing but the market price, the printed price, lease price, one and the same. So here, the selling price, that is the thirteen thousand five hundred and thirty rupees, is equal to. Let me take x as a basic price. So therefore, it is x plus ten percent of x. So therefore, this is equal to 110 x divided by 100. So therefore, x is equal to 13,530 into 100 divided by 110. On solving this, we get it as rupees 12,300. Next question: A color TV is marked for the sale for rupees seventeen thousand six hundred, which includes sales tax at ten percent. Calculate the sales tax. First, find out the market price. So then, it is sold it for seventeen thousand six hundred. So therefore, selling price is equal to market price plus rate of sales tax or R percent of market price. So let me take this as. Selling price is seventeen thousand six hundred, which is x plus rate is ten percent. So it is ten divided by hundred x. So hundred x plus ten x is equal to hundred and ten x divided by hundred. So therefore, x is equal to seventeen thousand six hundred into hundred divided by hundred and ten. So on calculating it, we get it as rupees sixteen thousand. so what is x it is not market price now we need to calculate the sales tax so therefore sales tax is equal to selling price minus market price so selling price is 17600 market price is 16000 so therefore the difference is rupees 1600 hence the sales tax paid for the color tv is rupees 1600 next one Sanju goes to a shop to buy a bicycle quoted at rupees two thousand. The rate of sales tax is twelve percent on it. He asks the shopkeeper for a rebate on the price of the bicycle to such an extent that he has to pay rupees two thousand sixteen, including sales tax. Find the rebate percentage on the price of the bicycle. Now the quoted price for the bicycle is two thousand, 
and it include 12% sales tax but he asked the shopkeeper to give a discount so that after all final settlement was rupees 2016 including 12% sales tax now we need to find out for how much he has marked the bicycle how much he has got the discount and we have to find out the rebate percentage or the discount percentage first let us find out the market price of the bicycle but he has taken it for rupees 2016 so therefore the selling price 2016 is equal to x plus 12% of x so which is 2016 is equal to x plus 12 by 100 into x which becomes 112 divided by 100x so on solving here we get x is equal to 2016 into 100 divided by 112 so we get here it as rupees 1800 so this is the market price of the bicycle the actual price first he has marked it for 2000 so therefore discount is equal to 2000 minus 1800 is equal to rupees 200 at first he has marked it for 2000 after asking the discount he has marked it for 1200 including sales tax he has to pay 2016 rupees so therefore the new market price is 1800 hence the discount he has given is rupees 200 now we have to calculate discount or rebate percentage so rebate is rebate divided by the quoted price In two hundred, so here rebate is two hundred. The quoted price is two thousand in two hundred. Zero 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 get cancels. Two one zero ten. So it is ten percent. Next question. Rina paid rupees sixty as sales tax on a watch worth rupees thousand two hundred. Find the rate of sales tax. So now here. Sales taxes rate of sales tax divided by hundred into thousand two hundred. So sales tax is given that is sixty. Sixty is equal to rate of sales tax divided by hundred. In two thousand two hundred, so we can cancel zero 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 here. Next, we can cancel twelve ones are twelve fives are. So therefore, we get rate of sales tax is equal to five percent. So these are the few questions that you may expect from this chapter, that is finding the market price or finding the discount and its percentage or finding the sales tax. we'll meet you in the next session with the new chapter until then keep watching keep learning keep exploring thank you